Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and a review of the new AirTech Studios Gearbox install tool. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big thanks to AirTech Studios for sending this out to me to do a review on. They have done some uh, work with me in the past. Uh, they sent me a uh, battery extension unit for my ARP9 when I used to have that. Um, and that thing worked out really good. If you guys aren't familiar with AirTech Studios, they make a lot of cool upgrade, um, what would you call it? Uh, like these little upgrade thingies, I don't even know what you would call them, for certain types of guns. They have the battery extension unit for the ARP9, the Ares uh, Honey Badgers with the weird PDW stock, um, and for the Crytac PDW, I think they have an extension unit for that. Either way, I'll, s I'll put a link in the description. You guys can go check them out. If you guys have any of those models and you want to extend your battery compartment, you can get one of those. So, as for this... Gearbox installation tool. This is made to make it easier to install your gearbox. If you guys have ever opened a gearbox or anything like that and you try to close it back up, the AR latch or the trigger just pops out of place, makes it really hard to put it back into place. Um, a lot of you techs will know that that's a big pain in the ass. Um, but AirTech Studios has come out with this new product to make that easier to install your gearbox. Um, this product will be released by the end of probably like last this last week that just happened um, so these are probably out as we speak um, if it is out I will put a link in the description if not then they're not out yet um, they will be $15 so yeah that's pretty much it it's just two little pieces one connects to your trigger one connects to your AR latch I will unbox it right, unbox it <laughs> unpackage it right now alright so here are the two pieces right here so if you look at the front, it's literally got all the instructions for it. So the, the trigger locking tool is the larger one. The air latch one is the smaller one. So the gearbox that I'm going to be testing this with is my Lancer Tactical Pro line. Link in the description. Um, this gun is amazing. Uh, for under $200, you can't beat it. This thing is awesome. Full metal, electronic trigger. It's awesome. Uh, so a few things to note about the um, the clips here. Uh, it saves the time of putting your gearbox back together, having to worry about that uh, stupid AR latch and the trigger, instead of having them popping out and messing you up. And if you guys are new getting into teching, you've never teched before, then this is a great way to help you guys out. Because I know some people who just start teching and they mess up something, they think they ruined the whole gun you haven't just don't worry get one of these and you will be set sadly I don't have one of those fancy umbrella armory tech mat pro thingy of bobbers but if you guys want to send me a Christmas present you don't have to PO box in the description so unlike many other 3d printed versions of this type of device um, these ones are very durable they don't snap and they don't only work for something just fell out they don't only work for V2, they work for versions 2 all the way up to 9 gearboxes. Um, so that's pretty cool. So if you guys got a uh, an F uh, uh, like a M14 or whatever, you're trying to fix your gearbox, you can use this. Trying to fix your AK, you can use this. Trying to use your P90 or fix your P90, use this. Works for any version of gearbox up to 2 and 9. Um, and you guys are tired of bringing this to your tech shop or your your field or whatever to get them teched on and spending a whole lot of money. This is a great opportunity to get yourself into teching. When I first started teching, I wouldn't call myself a tech at all. Um, I was super scared. I did not know what I was doing. But if you got like a crappy gun laying around that you never use anymore, do some practice on that because that's a great way to practice like if you have a Lancer Gen 1 I don't know anyone that uses a Lancer Gen 1 anymore so I have happen to have two of those laying around and I use those to practice on teching just taking apart the gearbox and putting it back together seeing if it functions again and if it does then you've done it correctly so that's a good way to practice you can also obviously use this to put it back together 
and uh, these are also a limited time supply by Christmas, um, but they will have more after the new year. And the clips themselves are made of a strong nylon plastic, so they're not some 3D printed bull crap. Um, they're very nice 3D quality. So I'm pretty sure while I'm here, I might as well show all my younger players that have never opened a gearbox before take it apart. First thing you want to do, take the other receiver off. Second thing I do, you don't have to do it in this exact order, but I like to do it. First thing, take up a receiver off. Second thing, take out the buffer tube. Um, then what I like to do is remove the grip and the motor, then the floor pin, then the rear pin. Uh, just that's the order that I've always done it in. And if you got, oh, don't forget the mag release. Always forget that part. Um, some mag releases are kind of difficult. I know on my Warlord that thing is a pain to take apart. I have never taken it apart all the way down to the gearbox, only to about this point right here. Floor pin, mag release, rear pin, grip, stock, buffer tube, and upper receiver. And then you can just pull it right out. Nice metal receiver. All right, so here's your gearbox. Now, for most people, you'll have a quick change spring, which you get a Allen key, which I have to go get. Um, twist it, pull it out, and there's your spring. If you don't have a quick change spring, you gotta put in a, a oh, you, but, oh, see, just drop something. You put in a little pin, a little, little flathead or whatever, down in there, hold it down so it doesn't pop up and blow up in your face. Flip her over, because this is where all your screws are. Um, unlike a G&G &G gearbox, g and boxes have their screws on this side, which is really dumb, but it's smart in the same time because they do that so you can't, like, copy or whatever, something. Alright, I got the camera a little bit closer. I sadly don't have a tripod that actually works because the tripod that I'm using right now, I literally have my camera duct taped to the tripod because I don't have the little screw thingy. But I asked for a new tripod for Christmas, and I asked for a shotgun microphone and a some light boxes because the lighting in my basement sucks so I can actually do videos in other places if I wanted to um, but as we left off flipping over the gearbox we're on this side taking the screws out now we've taken all the screws out we're going to take this part. By the way, look at how nice this gearbox is. This is really shiny. It's really nice. There you go. Literally just flipping it open like that. All right. Now, the one thing that really annoys me. See, look. See, this is what I'm, what I'm talking about right here. You got, you got the trigger, the trigger popping out, it's popping out. You try to put it back in, which is a pain. Then it's gonna pop right back out at some point. Um, but this thing that annoys me is my bearings, they'll like fall out. So what I like to do is I like to hold the AR latch down and twist that all the way. So that's all the way out of the way, in the way, in the way. It just gets out of the way. I'm going to fix that just because it's annoying. And now it's going to pull my shim off. Great. Thank you very much. I love you. No, I don't. I'm kidding. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the device. Let me adjust this so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right. So we are going to oh, look at the picture first. See if I'm doing it right. Okay. So you've got a little hole at the end right there, which that's what goes around the peg of the trigger, and this goes underneath the gearbox. So we're just going to clip it right there wobbles but it does not want to pop out of place which is good so you want to set it to the side like that so it's get out of the way then you've got your AR latch one under the gearbox it goes over the wires clips around it yeah that's not going anywhere wow perfect all right so there you go. It also, if you guys are like me and you hate wiring so much, this little thing right here of wires 
always pops up and messes me up when I'm trying to put my gearbox back together. It's so annoying. So, now they have the two clips holding the trigger and thingamabobber in place. We can now put the gearbox back on top. The other half. Um, of course, this is going to get in the way when you put it on. So just move it to the side, you'll be good. You're going to have to adjust it to the holes to make sure it's good. And also make sure the safety latch is out of the way. Because it does get in the way sometimes. Um, one thing to have handy is a nice little pin here because sometimes the gears won't align up with the holes. And then once it's like seated nice and firmly, you can take the pieces out. There you go. Nice and easy. First try. Never, I've never done this the first try. I'm not even kidding you guys. I've never put it back together the first try. Um, so yeah, once you're done with it, when it's like not closing down on this side, pull them out, just push it down, goes in nice and firm. Uh, also, if you guys didn't notice, I just noticed this, but I will zoom in to show you guys. Probably can't see it because it's not like the lighting's not great, but oh, there you go. So on this one right here, it says trigger lock. And on this one right here, it says AR lock, which I think is pretty cool. So in case you forget which one is which, and you don't have the picture with you, you threw away the packaging, then it tells you right there. So yeah, overall, this thing works great. Again, if you guys are starting out teching, you want to work on your own gearboxes, pick these up. I'll leave a link in the description. Very great, nice, durable, um, great addition to anyone's tech box, whatever the, whatever the heck you do with your things. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be doing it for the video. Again, big shout out to AirTech Studios. Thank you so much for you guys for sending these out. Overall, I give these things a mm, 10 out of 10, actually. Great idea. Um, I know a lot of people have made their own ideas in the past, um, but those snap easily, they break. This is probably the first one that has, like, this right here is a big gap. This is a big gap right here, and this is a pretty small. I just stretched this thing, and it snapped on perfectly fine. So, this thing is not going to snap, no problem. Uh, 10 out of 10, great quality, great idea. Thank you, AirTech Studios, once again, for sending this to me. If you guys have any other questions for me, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.